This couple were out swimming in the ocean when suddenly a shape rose up from the deep. A pair of Australian adventurers were out at sea filming sea turtles when they were joined by something unexpected. Unbeknownst to the duo, they would encounter a truly extraordinary sight. And it was something that few professional divers ever experience. When Brad Nichols and Emmy Rose Curtis got their hands on some new filming equipment, they decided to head to sea to test out the gear. However, they had no idea what was in store for them that day. The pair set out to South Stradbroke Island, nearly two miles off the Gold Coast Seaway, on a boat belonging to a friend. They found the perfect spot to begin their swim, taking the underwater GoPro cameras with them. However, they were soon joined by something much bigger than they had been anticipating. The pair decided to dive straight in to see what they could find. They were expecting to spend their day capturing peaceful sea turtles and colorful fish. But they had no idea what they were about to be faced with. What's more, with the trip arranged on the spur of the moment, Nichols and Curtis hadn't come fully prepared. Without goggles or diving gear. The couple were about to find themselves feeling very exposed when they came up against the unexpected. It was then that something rose up from the depths beneath them. It was a creature measuring some 40 feet long and weighing nearly 90,000 pounds. The pair were unafraid, though. The adventurers had in fact been joined by a mother humpback whale and her calf. It was a truly unique experience. Nichols told Yahoo 7 News, having it that close. I wasn't going to let that opportunity pass by, having them all around us. You're never going to do that again. However, the whales could pose a significant threat to the divers. Whales are huge animals, capable of effortlessly killing humans. What followed was even more surprising, though. Fortunately, Nichols and Curtis are not amateurs. They actually have years of experience of watching and studying whales in the wild. They read the creature's signals and knew how to deal with the situation. Indeed, their encounter lasted for over an hour, during which time they filmed some truly amazing footage with their new GoPros. Their movements were so gentle and so slow, almost like they were like oh, I don't want to hurt my new friends, Curtis told Ept 70. In 10 years, I have never seen this type of behavior for whales with a boat, let alone with us in the water. We kept getting out of the water and they would be coming up to the boat and spy hopping as if to say, where'd you go? What are you doing? Come back and play, Curtis told Yahoo 7 News. These gentle giants were obviously intrigued by their new guests, and they displayed no signs of aggression. This doesn't make the adventurers run in with the giants any less dangerous, though. Considering the threat, the pair knew that they had been lucky. Indeed. Curtis had doubts about whether or not she should post the video online. After all, it might well inspire others to venture to the same area to try and replicate the experience. However, she made her mind up and shared the extraordinary footage that the pair had captured. The film was simply too impressive to keep a secret. The video has now been enjoyed by over 350,000 viewers on YouTube. The astonishing images show the whales waving their fins and playing with their new friends. It all goes to show just how curious and how intelligent these massive creatures are. Since the couple's experience, a number of tour operators have looked into offering whale swimming excursions in the area. While trips of this type are available in Western Australia and on the Sunshine Coast, strict regulations make it less feasible in New South Wales. Scott Wilson is one whale watching tour operator who has been testing the waters. However, he has found that the rules make whale swims generally too problematic to be viable. The New South Wales Environment and Heritage Office refuses to license swimming with whales outside of marine parks. It also states that swimmers are forbidden from getting in the water within 320 feet of a whale. If a whale does come within 100 feet of a person, however, then they must not approach it, touch it or alarm it. Nevertheless, Wilson has managed to run two test dives with a small number of swimmers. In an interview with the Gold Coast Bulletin, he explained his approach. The whales are curious, he said. They come over to you. They choose if they want to swim with us. We don't determine that. The key thing is that visitors do not drive the whales away or pollute the waters. In the meantime, 
Individuals like Wilson will pursue compromises that allow tourists to get a closer look at the natural world. What there's little doubt of is that Nichols and Curtis had a truly spectacular experience. And, at least for the time being, it is likely to remain a rare one, rare one.